This video is a review and comparison of the Vapor Teeny and the Vapor Sphere. These products are designed to allow you to vaporize alcohol instead of drink it, allowing you to get a nice comfortable alcohol buzz without having to worry about all the problems associated with drinking alcohol. And when I say problems, I'm talking about the calories, the hangover, the driving drunk, and for diabetics, the high blood sugar spikes. The benefit of vaporizing alcohol over drinking alcohol is that when you vaporize alcohol, it gets into your bloodstream much faster than when you drink it. We all know that when you drink alcohol, you have to metabolize it in your digestive tract and your lower intestine before it gets an opportunity to get into your system. And depending on how much you had to eat or what your weight is or whether you're male or female will determine how fast it gets in your system and how long it takes to get out. In a few minutes, I'm going to go over all the high points and the highlights of these two products and allow you to see what I like and dislike about these products. Now, this is just my own personal opinion. I'm a little bit biased for this product, but I'm going to try and be fair and show you the two products and the difference between them. Basically, there's three ways to vaporize alcohol. If you've been searching on YouTube and learning about vaporizing alcohol, you might have seen demonstrations from people. The most common one is where you see somebody take a bicycle pump and a two liter soda bottle, pour some alcohol into it, and use air pressure to vaporize the alcohol. I've tried to do that, and unfortunately, it's kind of a lot of work just to get one or two hits of alcohol vapors. So for me, that really wasn't an option. Might be cool if I'm at a frat party or something and I'm young, and there's a bunch of guys that are doing crazy stuff like beer bongs and vaporizing alcohol. But for your everyday use and everyday social situation, you're obviously not gonna be able to carry around a bicycle pump and use it to vaporize your alcohol. The second way is you take dry ice and you pour alcohol over the dry ice and the dry ice creates alcohol vapors and you inhale those vapors into your lungs just like if you were going to be inhaling the compressed air. But the difference is dry ice is made out of carbon dioxide. It's liquid carbon dioxide. And I didn't think that inhaling something that was negative 75 degrees Celsius that was carbon dioxide into my lungs would be a good idea. So I never really considered that option. Not only that, finding dry ice is extremely difficult. The third way is using a candle and a sphere so that you could heat the alcohol inside of the sphere which allows it to vaporize and you inhale those vapors into your lungs. That's what these products, the Vapor Teeny and the Vapor Sphere are designed to do. I know when they designed the Vapor Sphere, the idea was to take the drink out of your hand and replace it with something that was easy to use but allowed you to vaporize alcohol in just about any social situation. So when I first found out about vaporizing alcohol, I was going on the internet looking for stories and articles about how to vaporize alcohol and is it safe or how can you do it. And it seemed that everybody did a story about the potential for alcohol poisoning. And I could see maybe if you were using a bicycle pump and a two liter bottle to vaporize as much vapors as you could, how the potential for getting your blood alcohol content too high could happen. But I found with these products, you can't get it anywhere close to an unsafe level. Now look, everybody's different, so I recommend you try for yourself. Get yourself a little alcohol breathalyzer. You can get them on Amazon for about $30. And when I first bought my first vaporizing kit, the Vapertini, I got one of those because I was concerned. I'm looking at these articles and I'm like, wow, I certainly don't want to get alcohol poisoning. So the first thing I did was I sat down and vaporized alcohol, got a nice comfortable alcohol buzz, tested my blood alcohol content, and I was nowhere close to an unsafe level. The next time I thought to myself, well, what would it take to get my blood alcohol content to an unsafe level? So I vaporized aggressively. About every 20 seconds, I took vapor hits. And after 30 minutes, I switched out the alcohol in my sphere so I had fresh alcohol. And I found the highest that I could get my blood alcohol content was a 0.14. I've never been able to get it higher. And that's with me being aggressive and trying to really get it high. Obviously, 
I wanted to be safe. I wanted to be responsible. So I was testing my blood alcohol content and I found that one, I sobered up within 15 to 30 minutes. And when I say sober, I mean, I had no alcohol left in my system. I used a breathalyzer and blew a 0 .00. After vaporizing alcohol for about four or five times, you'll get really good at determining where your buzz is at, how to maintain your buzz, and before you know it, you'll have total control over your alcohol buzz. Okay, so now let's get into the comparison. We're gonna talk about the Vapertini first. It was the first product that came out on the market. The Vapertini comes with a, uh, a glass sphere. It used to come with a glass straw, but now it looks like they include a, uh, a metal straw. It comes with, uh, whoops, ooh. It comes with this uh, stainless steel item that sits on top of the glass that allows the, the beer to sit comfortably on top of the glass. It also includes uh, one of these little tea candles. You can get these just about anywhere. And it comes with this uh, little plastic funnel that allows you to put the alcohol into the sphere. So I'm gonna demo how this works and I'm gonna tell you the things that I do and don't like about it. Uh, first of all, I don't like the candle. The first thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna light the candle and place it in the bottom. And the problem with this is these candles are kind of tough to get into the bottom of the glass. So I found that the best way to do it is to take the candle and let it slide down into the glass. Oh, there you go. Worked out, didn't go out. But it can be difficult. So I personally like using the restaurant style candles, like the ones that come with the vapor sphere. And you can get these at just about any party supply place. These candles are liquid candles and they're really easy to get into the bottom of the cup. You just take the cap off, you light the candle, and you place it in the bottom of the cup, similar to the way that you would do it with a, a regular tea candle. But it's so much easier because it'll slide down. These are so much bigger, they'll slide down nice and simple. There we go. So, so, now that you've got your candle lit inside of your glass or your cup holder or whatever you want to call it, you now take your favorite alcohol that's anywhere between 70 and 100 proof. I personally like to use 80 to 100 proof because if the alcohol is not high enough, it takes a long time to get a buzz and maintain it. The next thing you do is you take your sphere and with the uh, Vapertini, it comes with this little plastic funnel you set the funnel on top of the sphere, but be careful how much uh, you pour into this little funnel because it's really small and it's easy to overflow. So you gotta kind of pour it kind of slow. And you pour about an ounce to an ounce and a half of alcohol. That ounce to ounce and a half of alcohol will last you about 30 to 40 minutes of vaporizing. The liquid will stay inside of here, but all the ethanol or the alcohol will be vaporized out after about 30 to 40 minutes. So you're gonna to need to change out the shot. Next, you place the sphere on top of the uh, little metal ring that sits on top of the glass. And in about three or four minutes, you'll see vapors forming inside of the sphere, which means it's ready to start vaporizing. All you need to do is stick your little straw and wait. Now, the thing I don't like about the Vapertini is one, the sphere is really light. It's, it's, it feels like it's really easy to break. And two, this metal thing that holds this, the sphere on top is stainless steel and that candle makes it really hot. So you gotta be careful. Once you've placed that stainless steel part on top, you have to worry about burning yourself. So be careful. You don't wanna get blistered by touching that. Another thing I don't like is that this glass is just a regular glass. Um, it's just your typical bar glass and that candle gets quite warm. So you really can't hold it. Um, it's quite uncomfortable. And besides that, you can't hold it anyway because the sphere falls off this real easy. You can't really move it around. In fact, one of the biggest disadvantages I don't like about the, vapor, the Vapertini is 
one, this glass, you can't hold it because it gets too hot. And two, the design makes it so you really can't carry it around. If you want to enjoy your Vapertini at a party or a bar, you got to kind of leave it in one spot and then come back to it and, and vaporize your alcohol in that one spot. So that's kind of inconvenient. You know, I'm the type of person that when I, when I uh, walk around, I like to carry my drink and socialize and sometimes I talk with my hands and I certainly can't do that with a, with a product like this because it feels like this sphere is gonna fall off pretty easy and you know, it's too hot to hold. Now, the difference between the Vapor Sphere and the Vapor Teeny is this glass is made out of a special heat resistant glass. It's the type of glass that they use for making test tubes and, and double wall tea glasses. So you don't feel the candle inside of your hand. You can comfortably hold this, this cup all afternoon and you don't feel the heat from the candle. So that's pretty cool. Another thing that I like is that the sphere with the vapor sphere feels much more solid. And in a few minutes, I'm gonna weigh these two on a scale here. I got a scale and you'll find out that this sphere is almost twice as thick and it's made out of that same glass that they use for making the, uh, the cup holder. So it makes it so that it feels more solid, it's heat resistant, but yet it still allows the alcohol to vaporize inside. Another cool thing about this sphere that the Vapor Teeny doesn't have, it's got a flat part at the bottom. So when it comes time for me to change out my shot or, or take my spear off, I don't have to worry about it rolling off the counter. Right? If I set this one down on the table, it feels like you know, it's gonna take off and, and, and go somewhere. So it is you know, more likely to break. In my opinion, the design of the Vapor Sphere is kind of everything that the Vapor Teeny should have been. All the things that I don't like about the Vapor Teeny are addressed with the Vapor Sphere. But my favorite part about the Vapor Sphere is this funnel is much easier to fill. This is like a, a stainless steel funnel that allows you to pour more alcohol quicker into the sphere. So I don't have to worry about it spilling. But I'll show you the best part about this funnel. This funnel was designed to sit on top or around the straw. So I don't have to worry about losing this funnel. You just place the funnel on top there, and there you go. Your funnel's always gonna be with your vapor sphere. Now you're not gonna need to use that funnel until it's time to change out the alcohol 30 or 40 minutes from now, but at the same time, you're not gonna go having to search for it, right? If, when I was uh, out with my vapor teeny, I had to put my funnel in my pocket because it's, you know, it's clear plastic and easy to use, and you know, you're not gonna be able to get the alcohol in the sphere without it. So. I wish that they had made this so that it could sit on top like you can with the, the vapor sphere, but that's not the case. Now, here's the cool thing. Look at how much movement I got with this thing. I could be out talking, socializing, having a good time. I could even be dancing on the dance floor if I get buzzed enough to think that I can dance. But I can't do that with the vapor teeny. You know, when I'm out socializing and partying, I'm always in the bathroom line or, or getting another drink or socializing or even sometimes dancing. And I can do that with this product. I can't do that with this product here. The, the Vapor Teeny is like, it's already too hot. This glass is too hot to pick up already. So anytime I want to enjoy a nice vapor hit, I can either have this product in my hand or I got to go back to my table or wherever I have my vapor teeny and then take a hit from, you know, take a hit from the vapor teeny. I personally like to take my drink with me. And that's probably the number one thing that makes this product so much better than this product is that I can take this anywhere. I can carry it. I can talk with my hands. I don't have to worry about it falling off. Each one of these, each one of these cups, has these heat resistant silicone bumpers that sit in the top here. These bumpers right here allow you to put the glass or the sphere together without having to worry about it making noise or rolling around or falling off. I'm gonna go ahead and hold this. Look at, look at. I think the straw is gonna fall out before the sphere falls out. So 
this is uh, this is designed to, to be held and and to enjoy just like a regular drink the idea behind the vapor sphere was to take the drink out of your hand and replace it with an alcohol vaporizer that was easy to use convenient and of course looks kind of cool so I think they really knocked it out of the park with the vapor sphere I like it so much better than the vapor teeny so these are the these are the pros and cons of, of each one of them this one is less expensive uh, I believe that this retails for about $45 and this one is a few dollars more I think it's about $55 but this one you're going to be able to use and take with you and enjoy over and over again it's easy to use this one you're going to use it once or twice and like me look for an alternative because it's really not not usable and if you're just sitting at a bar and you don't have to pick up your your alcohol vaporizer no problem but at the same time if you got to take this product with you this one is so much easier to bring with you because everything fits inside in here we have our straw our funnel our candle everything sits inside just drop it in place the sphere on top and there you go easy to transport and take around this one here it's a different story you pretty much you got to do something with the sphere and the cup because well you know one doesn't fit inside the other I always recommend that you keep these boxes like if you're if you got the vapor teeny keep it in your trunk of your car or something and then anywhere you go you always got it so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to weigh the sphere of the vapor sphere and the vapor teeny so you can see the difference in weight the sphere on the vapor teeny here feels pretty light so I'm gonna weigh it here and it is 65 grams 65 grams for the vapor teeny now the sphere on the vapor sphere ninety nine grams so it's considerably thicker and it's made of that glass it feels more durable when you're holding the two this one feels solid this one feels really delicate I'm, you know I'm, I'm afraid to I'm afraid to crack this one over here but uh, this one feels really solid and you can see weight wise it's a uh, it's quite quite a bit thicker so in my opinion this is a cool sphere I also know that if you have the vapor teeny and you want to replace this sphere with the vapor sphere sphere you can buy just a sphere on the vapor sphere website so if by chance you broke your vapor teeny sphere because you picked it up and it fell off or what have you you could replace it and instead of getting the vapor teeny sphere you can get the vapor sphere in my opinion the vapor sphere is a much better product than the vapor teeny although it costs more I wouldn't want to spend money on a product that I would never use this one's only $45 and if I spend $45 on that I have a feeling I'm never going to use it again and it's a waste of $45 it's always better to spend a few dollars more on a quality product that you'll use or like and that's just my opinion I hope this video was helpful and the comparison between the vapor sphere and the vapor teeny will help you make an informed decision as to which product might be right for you you know a lot of people don't know that you could vaporize alcohol instead of drinking alcohol to get a nice comfortable alcohol buzz so please share this video on your favorite social media site and tell your friends about it 